This video is going to show you how to create a new file within the D2L content area. One way that you can add content to D2L is by uploading files, but if you want to create a file from scratch, or if you want to incorporate some of the more multimedia options that are available if you create the file in D2L, this is how you go about doing it. I'm starting here within a specific module in D2L, but I could be in any module that I wanted. And from the new menu, I'm going to choose create a file. So here's the new menu, and I'm selecting the second option, which is create a file. This is going to take me essentially to a big HTML editor that looks a lot like a Word document. So the first thing I'll want to do is give it a title. I'm just going to call this sample D2L file, but you could call it obviously anything you want. Um, as a tip, the name that you type here is what your students are actually going to click on to access the document. So you may want to call it something like click here to access whatever it is, or just name it like you would name a Word document file. Then here within this HTML editor area, this is where you can add any text you want. You can type it, you can copy and paste. This is content. And then you can also take advantage of all of the different options available, for example, within the insert stuff area, which can allow you to add a video note. It can allow you to enter embed code, which is great for YouTube videos or any other sort of web widget that creates embed code. You can use the YouTube link to do a direct search for a YouTube video and embed that. You can even add Flickr, or you can add files that you've saved elsewhere in the course. So those are all things that can be added with insert stuff. You also have the option to insert images. You can insert web links to other areas in the course, and you can format the text that you put by size, by font, even by color. Once you have everything the way that you want it in this sample file, you simply select publish or save as a draft if you don't want it to make it available to students right away. But if you want to make it available to students, you click publish. And this is what your students are going to see when they click on the file. Now the one real advantage of doing things in a file rather than an uploaded file, but doing it something you create in D2L, is if I ever want to change this, I don't have to do any re-uploading. I simply use the drop down menu, I select edit HTML, and now I can go back and change anything I want. I can add things, it can be a work in progress kind of file, because all of the editing and the creation takes place within D2L.